What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a sneaker giveaway, and all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my other channel, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. And if you want more details on the giveaway, you can also find a link to that video in the description down below as well. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm going to be at Sneaker Con Fort Lauderdale, which is February 11th. And I will be selling merch there, which it will be my first time selling merch out in public. And I know that this is a small channel, but I remember at Sneaker Games, a lot of people were asking me, Yo, what shirt is that? It's really sick. And I was like, yeah, it's my shirt. But the problem is that that shirt has the sneakers on it, and that was only a pre-order last year for Christmas. And I don't want to release those shirts again because... Those shirts I do want to keep limited to the people that have them. Because I kind of do have the same vision as Kais, which is where I want people to have that feeling of having that shirt that's special to them because it was only released at that time and they were actually able to get it. Here are the pictures of the shirts. There is a white version and a black version and there's also a long sleeve version and a short sleeve version. So basically the white ones are just plain white tees and then they have the R Sneakers logo on them and then the long sleeves the same thing. And the black shirts do have the fine in white in long sleeve and short sleeve. So if you are hitting out Sneaker Con on February 11th, make sure to come through to the table and say what's up. I do want to record and shout every single one of you out on my vlog. Anyways, moving on with the video, I have been asked a lot, yo, how do you lace this shoe? How do you lace that shoe? The thing is, I could make a video for every single sneaker that I lace up, but I feel like you guys would get tired of that. So instead, what I decided to do is, I'm just going to show you guys all the shoes and all the kind of variations of the way that I tie my shoes. And I'll, sh I'll tell you why I do them and how I do them. So to start off, I'm just going to tell you guys what I do for the bottom portion of the shoe. And then when I get to the top on how I tie them and all that, I'll get to that on every other shoe individually. So to start off, you're going to put the shoelaces through the first two holes, obviously. You want to go from the outside to the inside. That's for every single hole, unless you get to the top and it's different, if I say so. And then once you get it through the first two holes, you want to go ahead and bring it across. So let's say you're... You're down here, but we're up here. It's the same thing. You want to go from the outside of the shoe. So you see how this is the outside of the foot. You want to go from the outside of the shoe, grab the lace, and go over. And then you're obviously going to go up on the shoe since the laces just go up. And then you want to put it through the hole from the outside to the inside just like that. And just pull through. And just tuck that into the shoe. And then you want to go ahead and grab the inside lace and come over and from the outside... To the inside and you want to do it all the way up to the top until you get to different occasions which I will demonstrate in other shoes and the reason for this being is because I like all my laces to go from the outside of the foot to cross over the ones that go on the inside so as you can see this lace goes over this one this lace goes over this one this lace goes over this one so the easiest lace up being is the loosey-goosey as I like to call them or as a lot of people probably like to call them all you got to do is do what I did with the camo shoes but instead of tightening them all the way just leave them loose, like leave all this slack in them. And then when you get to the end, you want to just go ahead and if you want the laces loose and hang to hang right here on the side, you can go ahead and pull it until it gets like to the middle of the midsole or right to the bottom because then they will crunch up like this since they're not going to lay flat. You do the same thing with the inside. Just pull it all the way down flat and then let it go and it won't hit the floor or anything. Or you can also just go ahead and tie them up and just make your regular knot. I mean, I didn't really do it, but you can do that too. Personally, when I leave the shoes loose, I just let them hang to the side. And usually I do this if the laces are way too long or if I don't like the way the shoe looks when it's tied up. I mean, this one looks good either way, but I've seen a lot of them be like loosey-goosey like this and they look pretty dope. So I was like, why not just try it? And I left it. I liked it. Next up is the easiest one. And it is the, usually the NMDs are tied like this because the laces are so long, as you guys may know, if you guys own a pair. They're stupid long, and you really can't do anything with them except wear your NMDs without laces or just tie them like this. Just make a really long bow and then sh let the shoelaces hang on the side without going too far down into the midsole. And usually I do this too if the laces are too long, and I feel like the shoe looks good when the shoelaces hang down. But that's only if the shoelaces are way too long because this part of the shoelace, like the ends, have to hang down a lot. If they hang down a little, then it just looks dumb, and they crunch up and start going everywhere and just doesn't work out. Next up is this kind of lacing. I guess you can call this the high and tight because it's tight at the top and then the shoelaces don't hang out too much. They kind of just like, they're supposed to, like if I let, if I extend them like this, the shoelaces do end evenly with the bow. And I usually do this with the Jordan 1s or any shoe that just doesn't have enough laces left or any shoe that doesn't have enough lace left at the top. Next up is the Lunar Charge. The way I lace these, I had somebody actually ask me a question on these but I never made the video. But here you go. All you have to do is, since there's really not a lot of lace left, I put it through every single hole, and there wasn't enough lace left. 
So all I did was just let him poke out on the sides like that and call it a day. Last but not least, I did forget to mention this on the shoe that I had this before. And it is when you have this thing on the shoe, I don't know what they call it, but I always pull my shoelaces through the bottom of the things that are usually in the middle of the tongue. It gives it some character to the shoe. It has a purpose, but I don't know exactly what it is. I'm a terrible sneakerhead. Sorry, guys. But if you look at the top, you do see that I made a knot at the top. And the only reason is because when I got to the top of the shoes, the laces just weren't too short to make a bow. So I was like, all right, let me just tie it like this. And it literally, it's perfect right there. Look, it looks good in my opinion like that. And I did this with my Roshis too, even though those are a little longer, but I like those loose. So, But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I know that was a long video, but I did have a lot of people asking me on how to lace your shoes. So I hope that helped. I tried doing my best on telling you guys why I did it and how I did it. But if you do want to know how to lace a specific shoe, comment down below if you need a certain sneaker laced, and I'll do it for you guys. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by Sneaker Con Lardo, which is a week away from today, and that is February 11th. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That is somewhere down there, maybe right below my finger, or a little bit there. I'm not too sure. Anyways, make sure you stay woke. Well. Our sneaker sign out. Peace.